of Wisconsin voters are still undecided, less than a month away from the primary in Wisconsin on August 14th. That's according to the latest numbers released from the Marquette Law School poll and the director of the poll, Charles Franklin, back with us. Good to see you Hi, again, Charles, sir. Good, good to, to be you. here. 30% undecided in a lot of these races. Is that unusual this late? It, it's, this late? it's kind of a lot. It's 30% in the Republican Senate primary, and it's 38 in the Democratic gubernatorial primary. So both of those are big numbers, a third roughly. Let's take um, a look at some of the numbers that you showed, and you can break it down for us absolutely. a little bit. So um, on the governor's side, yeah, we have down. Tony Evers at 31%. Everybody else is below 10, and in fact, um, Malin Mitchell and Kathleen Weinhout are at six, tied for second place. Um, and that whopping 38% undecided. This is a case where Evers has also been pulling ahead more. He was at 18 in March, at 25 in June, and now 31. And no one in the rest of the pack has broken out of single digits. So there's four weeks to go. They've all kept their powder dry to buy a lot of TV ads in these last four weeks to the extent that they have enough money to do that. Can TV ads be a game changer at this late date, I, do you think? I think with so many people undecided and also a lot of people still say they don't know who these people are. Even Evers has less than half of Democratic primary voters say they know enough about him to have a favorable or unfavorable view. It's much higher for some of the other candidates, but it could could break suddenly for one of the pack, though it's also possible it breaks and goes to Evers. So this is really, Evers is clearly the front runner. You wouldn't want to call him the presumptive nominee by any stretch with 38% undecided in that field splitting the vote. But he's run for statewide races before, so there is some name recognition. Exactly. That, I think, is his real advantage. He's the only one in the pack that's done that. All right, let's look at the uh, re Republican Senate race. Here we have a change in the kind of opposite direction. Um, uh, Leah Vukmir is at 34 and Kevin Nicholson at 32, the 30% 30 undecided. But here, this race has tightened. Nicholson was ahead by nine in March, up by just five in June, and now it's Vukmir who's moved ahead by just two points. The margin of error is seven points, so this margin is well within the margin of error, but it certainly qualifies as a toss-up at this point. Is this what you would expect to see in the summertime? People Are people just not paying attention? They're busy? I mean, is that a factor? I, I do think it's an it's a fact of our August primary that people are doing things in June and July other than paying super close attention to campaigns. When we had a fall primary, there was at least the fact that the kids were back in school and you were after the Labor Day holiday, maybe it was time to tune in a little bit more. But having said that, I think the big field on the Democratic side can help explain why voters have had trouble sorting out those folks. But the two Republican candidates, just two, are equally, if not more, unknown uh, compared to Tony Evers, for example. Did you run them against Tammy Baldwin in hypothetical races? Not this time. Okay. We had run that in June, and since we saw the results there, Baldwin was ahead by 11 against Nicholson, by 9 against Vukmir. It seemed like there was no point in asking it again until we actually have the nominees next month. We'll ask in, and, and it is in less, August. Less than a month. It's hard to believe. That's right. Time's ticking down. <laughs> and we'll narrow that field down to to one. One of each party. Yep. Um, All right, well, we'll keep an eye on things. <laughs> All right. And I'll have the poll coming out right soon after. The Shortly day. after the primary. Okay. So. Have a rest of the, enjoy the rest of your summer. I'm going to go try. It's fading There's fast. a couch <laughs> waiting for me right now. <laughs> you want to end a peach pie? And a peach pie as All right, well. Charles, thank thanks, you. Charles. Good to see you. Thank you. We'll be right back with the final check of your forecast.